Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to find all the possible values of x that can satisfy this equation. You can see the exponent or the degree is 6 therefore we expect 6 solutions including real and imaginary solutions. Alright let's get started. First of all I would like to take one to the left hand side. So we have x to the power of 6 minus 1 equal to 0. And I know that x to the power of 6 can be written as x to the power of 3 all squared. So we have x to the power of 3 all squared. And also 1 can be written as 1 squared. This is also equal to 0. And this is nothing but difference of 2 squares, which can be factorized. We take x to the power of 3. We minus 1. We also multiply by x to the power of 3. We what? Add 1 and this remain equal to 0. These two factors can also be factorized because naturally 1 can be written as 1 to the power of 3, 1 to the power of 3. So we have difference of 2 cubes and sum of 2 cubes. What can you remember about them? Uh, I think let me write the two of them here. For a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 and a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3. We have difference of 2 cubes and sum of 2 cubes. For the difference, you take a, you minus b, then you multiply by a squared. Because we have minus here, we are going to transform it to plus. That is a times b, then plus b squared. This is how to factorize it. And for the sum, we have a plus b multiplied by a squared because we have plus here we transform it to minus a b then plus b squared so this is the factorization let me take the first one here for which a is x and b is 1 so for this factor we have x minus 1 then multiplied by x squared plus x times 1 is x, then 1 squared is also 1. We are done with the first factor. Then the second factor, let me switch color. We multiply by x plus 1. We have x plus 1 multiplied by x squared minus x times 1, which is x, then plus 1 squared, which is 1. The whole of this equal to 0. Now just observe, we have what? four factors either x minus 1 equal to 0 x squared plus x plus 1 equal to 0 or x plus 1 equal to 0 or lastly x squared minus x plus 1 equal to 0 now we can simply solve these two this implies that if you take this to the other side, it becomes positive. We have x equal to 1 is a solution. And also we can solve this uh, x equal to negative 1. So far we have two solutions. Now we need to solve this and this using general formula because you can see they are quadratic equations. Let me start with this one. x squared plus x plus 1. So if we have x squared plus x plus 1 equal to 0. Um, should we use completing the square? I think it's pretty much okay. I can take this one to the other side. We have x squared plus x. I will leave a space for a number. We have negative 1 to the other side. What do we need to add here and here? Square of the half of the coefficient of x. Uh, coefficient of x here is 1. Half of that is 1 over 2. If you square that, you have 1 over 4. So we need to add 1 over 4 to both sides. So that left hand side can be factorized as what? x plus half the coefficient of x. Half the coefficient of x is 1 over 2. You square whole. And this is equal to 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Plus 1 is negative 3 divided by 4. Negative 3 divided by 4. Now we take square root of both sides. We have x plus 1 over 2 to the left equal to plus or minus 
the square root of negative 3 divided by 4. Um, we take this to the other side as well, leaving x equal to negative 1 over 2 as positive 1 over 2 crosses over, plus or minus. Square root of negative 3 is what? Square root of 3i divided by square root of 4 is what? 2. Now, if we simplify this, we may decide to use plus first. So x could either be equal to negative 1 over 2 plus square root of uh, 3i over 2 or x equal to negative 1 over 2 minus square root of 3i over 2. If you like, you can match them to have a single fraction. So x equal to minus 1 plus this because they have the same denominators. So we have um, minus 1 plus square root of 3i over 2. This is one value of x. Or x equal to minus 1 minus the square root of 3i divided by 2. So far we have four solutions. Then the other quadratic, which is this one, we have x squared minus x plus 1. We can equally uh, complete the square. We have x squared minus x. Leave a space for a number. You take 1 to the other side. It becomes negative 1. So um, the coefficient of x is negative 1. If you divide it by 2, you have negative 1 divided by 2. If you square that, you have 1 divided by 4. You add 1 divided by 4 as well. All right. The left-hand side is now x minus 1 over 2 all squared, 1 over 2 whole squared, which is equal to negative 3 divided by 4. Take square root of both sides, you have x minus 1 over 2 equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 3 divided by 4. Take negative 1 over 2 to the other side, you have x equal to 1 over 2 plus or minus uh, square root of negative 3 is square root of 3i square root of 4 is 2. We do the same thing. x could be uh, 1 plus the square root of 3i over 2 or x equal to 1 minus the square root of 3i over 2. How many solutions do we have? We have 1, we have 2, we have 3, we have 4, we have 5, we have 6. So this particular equation has 6 solutions, 2 real and 4 complex solutions. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.